SpaceX has once again performed a marvel with Starship, pushing the limits of space exploration to new heights. Despite facing some challenges with Starship 33, the Super Heavy Booster B-114 achieved a remarkable feat, making a flawless landing on the Megazilla arm for the second time. This achievement opens a bold new chapter for the aerospace industry. But what happened with Starship 33? Why is the success of B-114 such a crucial milestone? And how did SpaceX, alongside Elon Musk, respond to this historic moment? Let's explore in today's episode of Space Now. We are all eagerly awaiting the seventh flight, the first V-2 mission with a series of upgrades and new objectives, alongside the first flight of 2025. The excitement is amplified because Starship has undergone several delays, and SpaceX's ability to meet these expectations has made everyone even more hopeful. About an hour before launch, Starbase was buzzing with activities such as fueling and engine cooling, all running smoothly, with SpaceX confirming that the fuel load had reached 10.8 million pounds, 4.9 tons, showcasing the incredible performance of the V2 upgrade. As the launch time approached, the water deluge system was activated just in time, a routine process in SpaceX launches. At 4.37 p.m., according to the updated schedule released by SpaceX just hours before, the 33 engines of the Super Heavy booster were ignited, propelling the seventh Starship into space. The thrust was estimated to be impressive, at over 16 million pounds, 7,000 tons. During liftoff, we saw the engines operate smoothly, helping the rocket pass through max Q after 2 minutes and 35 seconds. The Super Heavy engines shut down, followed by the activation of the Starship engines, and thanks to the hot staging mechanism, the two stages separated seamlessly, marking another successful step in the mission. Afterward, the rocket stages began their separate journeys, but naturally, all eyes were on the Super Heavy booster, as it would be caught by the Megazilla arm after 3 minutes and 45 seconds. The hot staging process took place, and SpaceX adjusted the camera angle to capture detailed views of the booster's body and surface, delivering incredibly impressive footage, especially the stunning shots of the methane tanks and pipes of the Super Heavy booster. This was truly a visual experience not to be missed. With these successes, SpaceX continued the booster landing process, supported by the engines and control fins. After the hot stage separation, the Super Heavy booster entered the hypersonic phase at high speed, and when it reached T plus 6 minutes 19 seconds, the bottom camera was activated, allowing us to see the glowing engines, reminiscent of the B-12 flight. The excitement rose as we saw the Super Heavy booster preparing for a successful landing. As expected, at T plus 6 minutes 31 seconds, when the Super Heavy booster reached an altitude of 1 km and a speed of 0.76 miles per hour, 1.23 km per hour, the gimbal-controlled engines in the middle and the inner engine rings all activated, helping to slow down and guide the booster. This moment brought an exciting surprise, especially when the engines in the middle ring didn't initially activate. Although this issue caused some concern, the landing process proceeded smoothly, thanks to the contribution of all 13 engines, including the one that had the issue. As time passed, all the middle ring engines shut down, leaving only the three engines in the inner ring to continue decelerating, preparing the Super Heavy for a flawless landing. With the help of the engines and control fins, the Super Heavy booster gradually approached the Megazilla arm. And at T plus 6 minutes 46 seconds, the chopstick arms smoothly closed to secure the booster, officially completing the landing process without any issues. This time, there were no fires or malfunctions after landing, a stark contrast to the B-12 flight, where a small fire caused damage to the probe system. Additionally, the communication antenna system, which had malfunctioned during the sixth flight and caused a cancellation, worked perfectly this time, contributing to the successful booster capture. Elon Musk wasted no time sharing his excitement, posting photos and a message on Twitter saying, We caught the rocket. This moment stands as a testament to the extraordinary capabilities of the SpaceX team, who continue to refine and improve their designs based on lessons learned from previous challenges. This adaptability and improvement have been crucial in propelling SpaceX to new heights 
and maintaining the company's ongoing success. Super Heavy B-14 is the second Starship booster to be successfully recovered, achieving this milestone thanks to SpaceX's unique Megazilla arm. With this smooth landing, it is clear that SpaceX has mastered the art of catching Super Heavy boosters. Show your support by commenting, great job SpaceX, below this post. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow SpaceX's exciting journey. Each successful flight brings us closer to a future of reusable rockets and sustainable space missions. Truly, the best is yet to come. While the Super Heavy booster continues to perform excellently, attention has now shifted to the Starship, as it seems to have encountered a serious issue during this flight. After the successful capture of Super Heavy Booster B-14, viewers noticed the lack of notable footage from the Starship's tracking camera. At T8 minutes 26 seconds, data from Starship 33 indicated that its altitude and speed appeared to have frozen at 146 kilometers and 13,250 miles per hour, 21,317 kilometers per hour, immediately raising questions about the condition of the spacecraft. Reports suggested that Starship 33 might have exploded due to a serious malfunction, triggering the flight termination system. SpaceX confirmed this through a post on X, stating that Starship had experienced an unintended rapid release during ascent. Elon Musk provided additional details, revealing that initial indicators suggested a potential oxygen SL fuel leak in the upper engine firewall compartment, large enough to create pressure exceeding the venting capacity. Detailed observations of the flight showed several unusual signs even before the separation of the spacecraft. Damage in the payload bay area was evident, along with a fire near the AF fin connection point after separation. These signs hinted that the issue might be related to design differences in the latest Starship version. While SpaceX has not confirmed the exact root cause, the company has committed to continuing the review of data from today's test flight to better understand the malfunction. While this is a setback, this outcome is unlikely to significantly slow down SpaceX's momentum. Both the company and its CEO have emphasized the value of the lessons learned from such tests. A statement from SpaceX also highlighted that with experiments like this, success comes from learning. Today's flight will help us improve Starship's reliability. Musk also shared this perspective through a tweet. Success is uncertain, but entertainment is guaranteed. This incident has triggered an official investigation from the Federal Aviation Administration FAA. And while this may delay future launches, SpaceX's flexibility and recent improvements in FAA procedures suggest these difficulties can be resolved quite quickly. While this incident made this particular flight less than perfect, it also presents an opportunity for SpaceX to further refine Starship, much like they did with Super Heavy. Once FAA requirements are fully met, SpaceX will be ready to move forward quickly. Prototypes for the next mission, Starship 34, and Booster 15 are ready for action. For the next mission, the eighth flight is expected to involve another ocean landing for Starship, as SpaceX has yet to complete this test. What are your thoughts on this incident and its impact on SpaceX's journey? Could these challenges be the key to SpaceX achieving new milestones in the future? Share your thoughts. This important test flight, with the ninth flight expected to feature Booster 16 and Starship 35, will mark the first attempt to catch Starship upon return. As previously revealed, Starship 35 will be equipped with upgraded landing pins to support this key milestone. If all goes according to plan, Flight 8 could take place by the end of February, with Flight 9 following shortly after. While setbacks are part of the process, SpaceX is still on track to achieve its goal of complete reusability, a key foundation of their ambition with Starship. This spacecraft is designed to revolutionize space travel, making space journeys more cost-effective and sustainable, opening up opportunities for missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. In another update on space exploration, China's Udu-2 rover appears to have stopped functioning. Launched in 2018 as part of the Chang-4 mission, Udu-2 landed at the Von Karman crater on January 3, 2019, and has achieved an impressive operational lifespan on the Moon's surface. As of September 2024, China reported that Udu-2 had traveled a total of 1,613 meters. However, data from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter shows otherwise. 
According to Phil Stuke, a professor emeritus at Western University, LRO images show that the rover has not moved since March 2024. This discrepancy has raised questions about the rover's actual status. A January 2025 update from China confirmed that the rover was still operational as of September 2024, including images of its tracks. However, NASA pointed out that UDU-2's movement had slowed since early 2023. By March 2024, the rover appeared to have completely stopped at a crater. Initial speculation suggested the issue might be due to a loss of connection with the Chu Chia satellite, which served as a link between Earth and the rover. However, even after the satellite replacement, UDU-2 still did not move, indicating the issue may lie with the rover itself, potentially due to the harsh environmental conditions on the moon. As UDU-2's journey nears its end, NASA is ramping up efforts to explore the moon. The Blue Ghost mission has begun, with additional landers such as IM-2 and Griffin expected to launch soon. These missions, supported by SpaceX, play a crucial role in delivering payloads to the moon. These efforts reflect NASA's renewed commitment to returning humans to the lunar surface. The global space race remains fierce, but NASA's advancements with SpaceX's innovations could provide a decisive edge. In the broader context, these developments illustrate the ever-changing landscape of space exploration, from addressing Starship's challenges to analyzing UDU-2's legacy and preparing for the next wave of moon missions. Humanity's journey to the stars continues to inspire. Let's keep a close eye on these stories as they unfold, showcasing resilience, creativity, and determination, qualities that define our great journey in space.